You guys want coral? Bam! Check it out. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Oh, look at that. The lights are off. You know what that means? If you're new to the channel, you wouldn't know. But if you're not new, you know that it means we got in some new corals. It's late at night, and this is when we get in our fresh batch of corals from overseas. This one happens to be from Indonesia. And very exciting. Very, very exciting. Drum roll, please. No one here. There's no drum rolls to be had. These are all wild corals. So I haven't had an order like this for many, many years. Maybe since I first opened the store. When was that? Five years ago? Actually, I just got my lease agreement the other day. Kind of on the fence about signing it. We're thinking about moving, maybe going a little bit bigger. We have definitely outgrown the space. That is for sure. Look at these shelves. Look at these walls. Let me turn on the lights over here. We got to squeeze every last square. Oh, crap. Every last square inch out of the store. Like, we're basically going to be up at the ceiling at some points. And the staff here are not the tallest, so we got to use ladders. Anyways, that's how I get sidetracked. What we're going to do is fill this thing up. This is going to take me the next, hmm, hmm, actually, you know what? I've never done this before. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to see how long it takes. There's 14 boxes of corals here. I think there's 160 new colonies in total. This tank is looking empty, 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 and very clean, as I might add. Look at the bottom. How did we get the glass so clean? Um, we like it clean because then, once the new corals come in, look how nice the contrast is. The corals against the black background. Check out this chalice coral here. Isn't that cool? Really, really nice. And it makes for much better photos and it's for your viewing pleasure too. It just looks a lot sleeker, a lot cleaner. I like clean, I like nice presentation. Very, very important. But today is not about presentation. Today's about corals. So let me get started. Let me get one box underway. I'll pick up the camera and I'll come back and talk to you and give you some of my thoughts on how it looks. My trusty razor blade, this is the tool of our trade. This is how all the work gets done right here. I usually do this on my own, not usually. I do all the unpacking of shipments on my own. And I was thinking about having one of the staff members here maybe one day to hold the camera and have them record as I unbox and we could do uh, I think it'd be a little bit better than this sort of POV style. It's quite a heavy camera. It's kind of hard to talk to you and do this at the same time. So if I had um, some help, someone standing there, then I could be like this on the other side of the camera. Hello, YouTube. And then I could talk to you at the same time as I'm unbagging. Okay, so these are, let me know in the comments if that's something you want to see. If you want to see my ugly mug and it'll make life easier. Since they are large colonies, Look how big they are. So this is one box. The shipping is astronomical. Uh, maybe you want to hear more about corals. You have to put up with a little bit of my business insights and March nonsense ranting. You will come to enjoy it, I'm sure. But look at this, only six corals in one box. The shipping on an order like this is, it's crazy. It's very, very high. I can go and pull up the invoice. It's in the thousands and thousands of dollars. In US, five, six, seven thousand dollars just for shipping. Oftentimes the shipping is more expensive than the actual corals. And look, for one box, you know, if this costs 500 US to ship or 600 US to ship, I'm only getting six pieces out of here, but they're big. Like I said at the beginning of the video, wild corals. Oh, 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 a little murky. Let's see what's next. Transit time, a little bit long. Oh, also a little murky. I don't know. So you know what? It's a little bit of gambling doing this. It's fun and exciting and I love the corals. I love farming them actually. That's where I find a lot of my enjoyment. Hmm, little murky, little, little murky. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna throw these in here and then we'll see how they look. Okay, so never mind my comments about murky water. I'm a dum-dum. It was literally just this plastic bag in front. It was giving it a murky sort of appearance. Goodbye. The water is crystal clear. Temperature is perfect. It is quite cold right now, so if you don't know, we are in Toronto. That is a city in Canada. And it gets very cold out here. It's like negative six degrees outside right now. But these corals, the water temperature, perfect. It's cool, it's not cold. It's a little bit on the colder side. I always prefer colder than hotter. You would be surprised what corals can tolerate. So these have been in transit now 
for almost three days. I would estimate water temperature is probably around 66 degrees Fahrenheit. I've seen it go as low as, you know, the high 50s, and a lot of corals will still make it. Not really so much the Acropora, the SPS. These are all branching. Nope, take that back. Er, er, rewind. These are all wall varieties of hammer. I think they're going to open up golden. Right now, I understand that on camera, they are looking like not the hottest, but just from my... 12 years of sort of professional experience, these are gonna look incredible tomorrow. I'm seeing no loose tentacles. I'm, uh, one thing I do that you can't see me doing on camera is I actually smell them. So I smell it because when a coral starts to die, it gives off a putrid smell. It smells, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's, I kind of just have a trained nose. So I'm actually smelling the coral. I'm smelling the water. I'm looking for discoloration, I'm looking for polyp bailout, I'm looking for pests at the same time, which I'm seeing none, and so on hammer corals, what you really have to watch for are these flatworms. If I find one today, I'll be more than happy to show you because, like I've told you from the beginning of this channel, I want to share with you guys the good and the bad. So you see how I just opened that first bag, and I said, oh my god, water's murky. I don't actually know how, the oh crap, sorry man, um, I don't actually know how this is gonna go. So if the whole shipment was a bust, which has happened to me in the past, I would have been very unhappy, but I would have still shared with you my misery. So you guys can kind of live, I don't know, maybe it's, I call it my reef therapy. That's what I'm doing right now, actually, while I talk to you. So you guys think that the channel is for you? It is not, it is actually for me. So these are a little bit tricky. See the base here? It's kind of kind of hard to get them to sit. I want him to sit like this. That's how you want the coral to sit. But because of his base, he's going to sit, I guess, this evening like this. I really just want to get them out of the bags as fast as I can. And I'm going to organize them by species because I know that hammer and hammer are okay together. I'm actually really excited to see some of the torches that we got. So I'm going to get these all in here and I'm going to get to the next box. And this is going to be a longer format video. So buckle up. Buckle up. This is not going to be a five minute video. We're going to be here for a while, guys. Be a good time to maybe take a break, go make a coffee, crack open a beer, maybe a glass of red wine. And we will unbox this beautiful Indonesian order together because that's what we do. That's what families do, right? We stick together and we are Reef Fam. Tia says that makes me seem old because I say that. I don't care. I am old. Okay, we're gonna get into box number two. I don't know why I threw that. Exciting, exciting. I really have no idea what is gonna be in here. Actually, this order was a little bit, a little bit different than most orders. Oh, there's an ice pack in there. What is that? That's kind of creepy. Oh my goodness. Hello. You're gonna go in the garbage. Um, because they're coming from Indo. So it is quite warm. It's hot over there. So it's a little bit tricky because you gotta keep it cool over there and then we want to keep it warm over here so we use this styrofoam container but this is box numero dos caja numero dos let's see what we have in store that's how you know i'm tired i start speaking different languages as i open this i will tell you i kind of speak spanish because my father is hispanic oh what do we have here and my mom my mother is from sicily so actually oh looks like a sun coral let's get some water in here March is short for uh, Marcello. My actual name is Marcello. Marcello Maestroiani. This looks like a very nice sun coral. Yeah, looks good. Let's open up one more. I think we got five. And I. So what I was saying a moment ago about this being a sort of an unorthodox order. Usually I have a lot more say in what we're going to get. And we can order off uh, an order sheet. And uh, there's one supplier we work with. He actually will send us, I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe a Wilsoni. I'm not 100% sure. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me throw him under the light. What are you, sir? Symphilia? Maybe. Pretty cool, like pink and blue. The camera never picks up the, the right color. So what I was saying was, um, one of our suppliers will send us photos of every individual freaking piece so the same way we do WYSIWYG you can kind of see with the lights off there we do a lot of WYSIWYG what you see is what you get so that if you order number 103 you know you're gonna get 103 one of our suppliers has caught on to that the popularity and that trend oh hello beautiful piece and 
offers that same sort of service, but to us. So they do charge a premium, it is expensive, but then we know exactly what we're getting. On this order, because these are wild corals, they have a permit from, they have a, this thing called CITES, which is the Cent, uh, Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species. So that will dictate how many of a certain species like this can be taken from the ocean. This looks like a Blastomusa. So for example, Blastomusa, um, roughly it's like 30,000 pieces can be exported from the wild every year out of Indonesia. How do I know that? Because on the permit, it'll actually show me the quota, how many are allowed, so we're at like 4,000 or 5,000 already, just in the month of January. So these corals are taken, yeah, straight out of the ocean. None of these are farmed. It kind of goes, it's a little bit hypocritical. It kind of goes against what we want to do here. A lot of our corals are farmed. That's what we're moving towards. At the same time, it is quite difficult to get flights right now. We are in our third, fourth wave. I don't know. We're in a pandemic. This little thing called COVID, Omicron, Comicron. Uh, I'm not going to talk about COVID. I'm just going to mention that it's difficult to get flights. Another beautiful sun core. Where's he going to go? Maybe I'll start a little row of sun core over here. Their polyps really come out the most at night. That's kind of a hard piece to appreciate during the day. But I've heard of people training them to come out during the day. This is a piece that is non-photosynthetic, so it's not going to consume light and turn into energy. You do have to feed it. So, what I was saying was, it is difficult to get air right now. So even this, even this order here was difficult to get the flights. So we just, um, we took whatever we could get. Our supplier had CITES for a wild order, which is what we have here. And um, yeah, yeah, as you can see, we're kind of, we, we, we are a little bit low on stock. So kind of goes against what we normally do. I don't want to promote or support wild harvest of corals. And then as I'm doing that, my hypocritical ass is talking about it, about how I don't want to do it and I'm doing it. So I am not blind to this. Looks like we have here Hydnophora excessa maybe. This is an example of something I wouldn't normally order. Not the most popular coral, quite rare. And why it's not so popular, a lot of hobbyists do not know what they are looking for. So, you know, the most popular corals I would say right now are the Euphilia, hammers, frog spawn, torches. I could bring in an order of just those and do fine and sell them. But I like variety. You want to see some other corals come in. Open brains, like those ones, uh, Scolimia, very popular zoanthids, uh, mushrooms, rhodactis. So some corals like that, like the Hydnophora, not as well known, and it's kind of underappreciated, undervalued coral. Blastomusa, very, very popular. Again, these look really pissed off. Like they look horrible right now. Um, they're gonna look incredible over the next day or two. We're gonna set up all our sun corals here because they're good together. And so as I'm unpacking, I'm looking at the color, I'm looking at the health and the size, and I'm trying to arrange them by sort of a price because I kinda wanna take this weekend off. I need a little bit of a break. I'm going up to Blue Mountain. I won't be here. And so if you're seeing this video, wait until Monday. I don't mean for this to be a tease. Um, some of the stuff will be priced out, but you might get upset if you come to the store because the staff will just tell you we're waiting and you know We do like to give them some time to hang out and chill and look good I don't want to sell stuff the next day or right out of the bag because something may perish and I would rather that it dies It's it's morbid to say but I would rather it's gonna die here in our tanks Then you know you take it home and then we have an upset customer if it's gonna die regardless I would always rather that it perishes uh, here and for us instead of you know, upsetting you, hurting your wall. Okay, I just said the same thing twice, sorry. Mengyame, coño. Am I allowed to swear in other languages? Is that okay? Because you guys know that I try not to swear on the channel. And that's because we have some younger viewers. But if it's not in English, does it still count? Look, I'm swearing because of this. This is a Lobo Philia and it is freaking nuts. You know what? I'll wait until tomorrow. This is a crazy coral. Beautiful coral, very aggressive. You can't really do lobo gardens. Lobo is short for lobophilia. Here's the second one. Wow, I wonder if these two originally came from the same piece. 
maybe they split it in half, but it's got a lot of color in there. It's got purple in the mouth, and then blue, and then some yellow core lights, and then red and orange on the end, and then as it puffs up tomorrow, it's gonna look wow, 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 wow. I also have, what is this? Parites, but this is not just parites. These have Christmas tree worm, we call them Christmas tree worm rocks, but the Christmas tree worms are living inside. And these ones, I would expect them to be blue. I just touched it, so it's all upset and not gonna open. And he's all pissy. Is pissy a swear word? I try not to swear. I try my best to, because you know what? I speak English, kinda, barely. I think that we can just use the English language proficiently without swearing. Is that good? We have to improve upon our vernacular. Another brain coral. So these I gotta be a little bit careful with because uh, they can have some stinger tentacles and they will sting other corals, other brain corals. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of room. I would say that's, uh, that's probably too close. And then we got one more Hydnophora. I think it's called Hydnophora excessa. I think that's the, um, the name. Oh, never mind. These are actually cultured. I lied. Look at that. So the, how do I know they're cultured? Because they have this little tag you see here on the base. So what they do is this is a man-made concrete little block. They epoxy a small piece of the Hydnophora to this and they put this tag underneath to show that it is uh, culture because you can't really you can't really fake that that must have gone in when it was a baby in order to have this so when you ever if you've ever seen some of our other videos like the aquacultured uh, acropora that we bring in all of them have those little itty bitty tags on them which tell you where they came from and um, just illustrating that they are in fact aquaculture okay numero dos done let's get on to number three Oh man, you gotta look at these. So I know a lot of you background watch these videos. Do I have a nice voice? Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend you said yes. People have told me that they background watch. I think that's cool. Do whatever you're doing. Do your laundry, do your homework, clean around the house, put me on in the background, you know, get some coral info. But sometimes I'm gonna ask for your attention. This is one of those moments. Look at this thing. Oh man, you can't even understand how nice this is gonna be. So I'm gonna do a video tomorrow once everything opens up. This, this is a, uh, looks like pfft, right now, this is a alveopora or gonipora. I can't tell right now because the tentacles are closed. These are all actually flower pots. So either alves or gonies once they open, but this is something else. This is gonna be, I, I cannot wait. Check out these ones too, really big. These are big colonies of beautiful flower pot corals. Okay, let's continue. Two little things to mention on the side. These guys are available for sale right now on our website. I know you guys have been asking for some clams. Numbers one and two. Check out this Forest Fire Digi. That is just textbook color. Polyp extension, green on the tips. These ones are a little bit wonky. They're growing funny. This is just, that's like Google Images quality. That's exactly what you expect to see from a Forest Fire Digitata. Wow. Check this out, it's a lot of Ghani. This is more Ghani pour than I typically order, like I said at the beginning of the video. I took whatever I could get. Kinda took a chance, I know the supplier, we've worked with him many, many times, he's always good with us, and he has come through once again. Pricing, is still not sure, like there's only, you know, very few corals per box, so I gotta calculate. I calculate the price of corals a little bit funny, and my friends that have stores and wholesalers that I know calculate per piece, they have a funky way of doing it. I have a different method, and maybe that's why we often get complimented on our pricing. I think it's competitive. I think it's in nah, maybe in line with industry standards. On some things, we're really inexpensive. Maybe on other things, we're more expensive. Our overhead is quite low here. It is a small store, and I think that's, uh, that's very important, actually, if you ever thought about opening one of these. Small is good, I think. Now I'm looking for more space. Okay, don't listen to me. Scratch the last 30 seconds of everything I said. Check this out, it's a lot of Ghani. This is more Ghani pour than I typically order, like I said at the beginning of the video. I took whatever I could get. Kind of took a chance, I know the supplier, we've worked with him many, many times, he's always good with us, and he has come through once again. Pricing, is still not sure, like there's only, you know, very few corals per box, so I gotta calculate. I calculate the price of corals a little bit funny, and my friends that have stores and wholesalers that I know calculate per piece, they have a funky way of doing it. I have a different method, and maybe that's why we often get complimented on our pricing. I think it's competitive. I think it's in nah, maybe in line with industry standards. On some things, we're really inexpensive. Maybe on other things, we're more expensive. Our overhead is quite low here. It is a small store, and I think that's, uh, that's very important, actually, if you ever thought about opening one of these. Small is good, I think. 
Now I'm looking for more space. Okay, don't listen to me. Scratch the last 30 seconds of everything I said. Hey, what do we have here? It looks like some open brain corals. Again, the water is clear. It's cool. It's not murky. I'm smelling the corals. They smell delicious. We don't eat corals. Let's see. Let's check one more bag out here. Come along for my coral adventure. Who are you? I think it's another open brain. No, I'm wrong. What are you? This is part of the fun. I never know what's going to come out of the bag. No, nope, open brain. Looks really good. I found these funny kind of plates, actually. I've never seen that before. Usually open brain come like this, loose as a solitary coral. I've actually never seen them glued to a plate like that. I wonder why they do that. Interesting. Well, I guess it's good because it'll keep it facing up instead of falling over like that one right there. Check this out. Interesting. Who are you, my good sir? Ho, ho, ho. Maybe a Sally Lightfoot? I'm not sure. That is a pretty cool looking little crab there. I'm going to try and save him and put him somewhere. It's probably a pest. He doesn't look very friendly. Also, the torch corals that we got in looking bomb. I see some Indo gold. I see some dragon soul in there. A couple more here looking really good so far. We are about halfway through and I think we have our first casualty here. This is a pretty good indication. You know what? I know it's a goner. That's what I'm looking for. A tissue. If I open this bag, it's gonna smell like hell. Really bad. This is a torch coral that for whatever reason has not survived shipping. If we look at the other ones here, they all look great. There's some really, really special pieces. Um, I can't wait to see them open tomorrow. I am gonna do another video when they all open. The thing is, I just get so excited when they come in. I can't help but record. And you guys also watch these. I can see on YouTube how many viewers, obviously. I can see uh, when you guys drop off. But this one, yeah, the good, the bad, the ugly. This is, yeah, that's not good. You can see skeleton there. A piece like this, unfortunately, I'm not even gonna bother opening it. We're just gonna say a little prayer and nobody talk to this song to it. We're gonna go to Coral Heaven. I'm sorry, buddy. But, mm, maybe a little bit messed up to say. It's pretty good so far. Like, look how many look great. We're filling up the tank slowly this way. It's gonna be all nice and full. And, okay, let's change topics. Let's talk about something good. Check this out. We don't typically get such big wild pieces. This is a tenuous, Acropora tenuous. I haven't had wild acro in probably three years. So I would say right before COVID, I don't know how long COVID's been going on, maybe two and a half years. But typically when we can get flights and when, when there's normal airfare, we bring in shipments of this. Um, I'm so excited to actually show you guys some of the stuff we can bring in. It's been a year that we've had the channel. Uh, you guys have seen some really cool corals. There's going to be a lot, a lot more to come once the world sort of goes back to normal. Hopefully some sort of resemblance of normal. Just hang on to your butts. You're going to see some crazy stuff in the next coming years. I was just about to throw this bag out. This is a, a finished box here. And I don't know why, I saw it right at the bottom. Check this out. A little frag of torch that broke off. I almost threw it in the garbage. Look at that. Almost didn't make it. Hmm. I don't know where he came off of. I'm going to stick him here. And you know what? He almost went in the garbage. So we're going to do a giveaway because he survived. So I don't know how I'm going to give it away. Man, giveaways are hard because a lot of our viewers are in the U.S. And we can not ship it to you. I will figure out a way to give this away to someone locally. I will give you guys a skill testing question. I'm not sure. But once I figure out what it is, Someone's going to win that little free piece that almost ended up in the garbage. Oh my goodness. I had to pick up the camera for this one. Check this out. Check out this beauty. Take out the packing. Oh, little sneak peek. Who's in there? Hello. That is a nice coral. Oh my goodness. Check this thing out. Acanthophilia. Wow. Stunning piece. Ah, that is going to be one big coral when he opens up. I expect him to take up a nice portion of that aquarium right there. That is going to be really special. That is pretty cool. Okay, that's it. Another very successful shipment in the bags. We have, oh, this is floating away. We have one DOA, one beautifully filled tank, one very tired small business owner and i will just give you a couple little highlights i want to save a little bit for tomorrow because what's going to happen is look they're starting to open remember when these were all closed oh look at the magic the magic of corals this one's starting to open this one that i asked for your attention is beginning to open 
So they're gonna look a lot better tomorrow and in the coming days, torches are looking good too. I just wanna, oh man, never seen an acanthophilia this small, finally. It is really cool. And this, red plate coral, what? And this, come on, that's, that's pretty cool, huh? I've actually never seen a long tentacle plate coral like this one. This is knocking futs. Anyways, no swearing allowed. Let's come back tomorrow. Oh, last thing, last thing, last thing, last thing, I promise. Inside here, I just saw the coolest good acro crab. Uh, maybe I can't focus on it. I did a video two days ago on acro crabs and it was too bad this guy wasn't here because he would have made a very nice addition. These acros look stunning. Unfortunately, crazy expensive. I think we're going to have to frag them up. So stay tuned for that. I think we'll wrap it up. I think that's it. I'm tired. It's four o'clock in the morning. We had fun. Wait until Monday. Let this stuff open. Let me go on a two day getaway and uh, hit the slopes. And then when I come back, the corals will look happy. I'll look happy. Maybe the prices will be better. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We'll see you back here. Maybe next week. We'll take a little two day hiatus or maybe I can upload in advance. Oh, ideas, brain power. Thanks guys for, uh, watching until this uh, this far into the video if you're here until now that means that you are a true reef fam fanatic i will find a way comment below how do i give this away how do i do it i don't know i was gonna throw it in the garbage because i didn't know it was in there but i'll find a way to give it away to some lucky customer this weekend or early next week we'll wrap this one up thank you very much for watching this episode of fragbox tv